All right, we are winding down our lessons in probability statistics. So this is our 17th lesson of the unit. Um, and last time we did something called normal CDF, right? Normal CDF. And we use normal CDF to help us find the area under the curve, which is the same thing as our probability, right? So to do that, you had to know the min or the lower, the calculator called it, the max, which is the upper, you needed to know the mean and you needed to know the standard deviation. And what that gave you was the probability, okay? So what if we don't have that, right? What if we have the probability, um, then you can find the actual value, like where it is that you're, that you're on the normal curve, okay? Um, so we're gonna do that with a function called inverse norm, okay? Inverse means that you're doing the opposite, okay? All right. So the big thing to remember about inverse norm uh, is you need to know a couple of things. You need to know the area under the curve, AKA the probability, okay? You need to have the mean and you need to have the standard deviation. And if you have that, then it gives you the X value, okay? All right, so uh, the key thing to remember is inverse norm only tells you about areas to the left. It So, right, so it only gives you this, the anything with the areas to the left. If you're trying to look for something on this side right here, you have to be a little bit more creative. And we're gonna do a problem just to help you visualize this. Um, and so just to kind of keep in mind about how to do this in our calculator. So our calculator has this function called inverse norm, okay? Inverse norm. Um, and what you put in first is you put in the area, next you put in the mean, and then you put in the standard deviation. And what that does is it gives you the X value. All right, so how do we do inverse norm on our calculator? So you take your calculator, all right? Let's see, hopefully my calculator turns on, very good. So where do we go for distribution? You go second bars, okay? Um, and look, option number three is inverse norm, okay? So this is what you do, and it even prompts you, right? So what is the area, what is the mean, what is the standard deviation, okay? So let's go ahead and remember that this definitely tells you only areas to the left. So let's do a, ooh, two more. Let's do a problem um, right here. So the height of students at a school are normally distributed, okay? As soon as you see that, you're gonna go ahead and draw your normal curve, okay? This is not too bad, all right. Um, and it says with a mean of 171. So as soon as we see that, we're gonna go right down the middle, doot, 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 doot. Right, and we're gonna put 171 right there. Why did I draw my thingy things like that, okay? Okay, like this, okay. So that is our mean, okay? And the standard deviation is seven. So, right, here, here. So this is seven more than 171, so that's 178. And this is seven less than 171. So that is what, 167, 164, okay? 164. All right, good. So now it's telling us that if we know that 10% of students have a height greater than X, so 10%, so somewhere over here, right? This is our 10% right here. So this here is 0 0.1 or 10% have a height greater than X and they want us to find this value right here, find X, okay? So we had a little caveat, right? Inverse norm is only for area to the left. So let's think about it, right? If the whole thing, right, the whole line is 100%, and we know that from here, from our X value up is 10%, so then what is the rest of it, right? The rest of it is 90%, okay? So let's go ahead and just write that down. That means that if I find the area of all of this right here, that's going to be 0.9, okay? So let's go to our calculator, let's plug this in, babas. So, right, so I have 0 0.9, I'm gonna hit enter. Our mean is 171, I hit enter, and our standard deviation is seven. I hit enter until it gives me an answer. Perfect, so we have 179.97. So let's write this down, inverse norm, right? We plugged in 0 0.9 comma 171 comma seven, and we got our answer as about 180, uh, and this is centimeters. Okay, so what if, you know, we forgot that it's, 
you know, talking about only the area to the left. And what if we put in our calculator, uh, we did inverse norm, so second bars, option number three again, right? And instead of 0 0.9, if we put 0 0.1, right, for 10%, and we hit enter, okay? So when you do that, you're going to get 162. So you might realize, okay, hey, wait, 162 is somewhere over here, right? This is where 162 is. So, hey, my calculator is giving me this right here. So you can use that information to help you figure out remembering that sym symmetry, right? This and this are the same uh, distance, right? So that's 10%, okay? So if you can go ahead and use this in the calculator. So we could do the mean is 171. So 171 minus our answer that we just got. Um, hit enter, okay? So that is... 8.97 so you could have said intuitively okay so to get to the other side which is over here i want to know this side over here you could do 171 because that's symmetrical right so you could have done 171 plus this answer okay and watch what happens look isn't that the same answer that we just got so if you did the wrong thing and you got 162 you should have been able to see okay hey my mean is over here so 162 is on this side. I want to know what this value is right here. Um, so this we just found out is 180 centimeters, okay? That's where our X value is, okay? Cool. I'm going to ask you, if you can, to go ahead and try these problems over here. Uh, today's lesson was hopefully pretty short. short. Um, good luck. Thank you.